Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Karen here again. Today, I'm going to show you another tutorial of how to make your internet faster. But this one's a retake from the last one I did. This one is a lot better. And plus, it works a lot better. And there's a really, really, really big difference. So, first thing, what you want to do is you want to go to your documents. When your documents come open, well, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to do it now to show you. You want to find local disk C and right click on it. You want to go to properties. When this opens. Then you see where it says use space. That's all the use space you've took up. And where it says free space, that's how much you've got left. But if you want all the, like all the purple, pink, whatever it is, click click this clean up. It's up to you if you want to clean your disc, but it'll make a difference if you do. When that's done, it should be done in a minute. Once you've done that, I'll come up to like a box like this. All you need to do then is just click on the ones that you want to keep. So, like, oh no, sorry, not click on the ones you want to keep. Click on the ones that you want to get rid of. And then just press OK. And delete files. <coughs> and it'll do that again. And then if you press OK again, you can click off that. And then what you want to do is you want to go to here, then you want to click on there and you want to do a um, percent sign. You want to play temp and do another percent sign. Like that. And two should come up, well, one or two will come up. Just click on any of them, they're both the same thing really. And then you might have loads and loads of files like this. Look, I've got loads and loads. Or you might not have loads, but it doesn't really matter. Just click Control A, select it all, right click on any of them really, and delete. <coughs> Come on. And I'll recycle them to the recycling bin. And then after that. You just go to recycling bin, delete them all from there. And then I'll show you at that at the end anyway. I've got one more thing to show you before we do that. Should be done in a second anyway. Oh, come on. I'll just pause it and then resume it when it's done. If it comes up with things like this, just press cancel, it doesn't really matter about that. No, just carry on. Should be done any minute. Right, it's done now. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, what's it doing? Come on. Okay, so it's done all then. Now, once it's done all then, you can just click off that. You don't need that no more. You should go back to here. Click on here. You type in MS config. So it's M S C O N F I G you can just click on that. And when this comes up, if it doesn't take as long, like I say, I won't respond as quick because I'm just I just found out from my friend. So I thought I'd do a video to show you a lot how to do it. Right, so when it comes up like this, what you wanna do, you wanna go to I think it's boot. Yeah, go on boot advanced options. You know, number of processors and max memory. 
I just wanted to go up here and then you want to go and start up. You want to click off, go up. All the ones that you do want, untick. All the ones you don't want, tick. So <coughs> I'm just going to click disable all because I don't really need none of them. Except Skype actually, but that doesn't really matter because uh, it's easy to download again. So I'll just disable them all. And then. Oh, actually, one sec. Enable. Oh, yeah, disable all. It'll do what? Delete them. It'll just. Like. Mm, just, like, not there on your computer. And just press apply. And just press OK. And then it'll ask you if you want to restart it. Um, I'm gonna restart it, but I'm gonna finish this video off. So like and subscribe, please. And um, thanks for watching. If you've got any problems, just inbox me or comment on this video. If it's not helping you, then make sure you do tell me because I will be able to find another way that will help you. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you very much. Bye.